Here is a case of partial nephrectomy where renal score is 7A. Not a very difficult case but obesity, thick fat, toxic fat made the surgery very difficult. Diabetes, hypertension, CAD, post-PTCA, double antiplatelet, stopped for a short period of time, put on clexane, high risk, 5.2 into 4.6 well-defined enhanced lesion in the right cortex. You see here so much fat. You, you see, see this type of obese patient but still fat is separable from the renal parenchyma most often. So this is uh, on the right side where you can see the liver and uh, we have seen two humps see like this. Initially I thought uh, I will try with uh, a Caesar but I realized soon that uh, so much fat is there better to go switch over to the harmonic. Because a lot of uh, this thing. When fat was separating like this, I thought I will mobilize the kidney very fast. Like this it was separated. Loose alveolar tissue is there. Similar type of loose alveolar tissue will be there between the renal parenchyma and the fat. Then you can strip off and make a kidney divide of the fat. This is, this is a perinephric fat which you are seeing. The one which we are separating is the gerotus fascia and the fat of the uh, mesentery. Now we are going to the uh, duodenum and all this went well. But when after mobilization of the uh, renal vein and artery in total, a uh, lot of ooze was there at the uh, renal uh, vein region. Then we thought we will see first the lesion over the kidney and then decide. So these are all loose alveolar tissue. Very nice uh, uh, view, no problem all dissected well. The problem of so identifying psoas is also okay. Heavy tumor falling is was one of the problem. Heavy kidney falling on side is a problem. Lifted with one hand and slowly moved. From now onwards little bit problem started and this is the renal vein and here we made suprahyalar dissection over the psoas. Up to here it is all well. Now it is ready for clamping, in fact mass clamping, if not uh, separate clamping. Here also, now normally we mobilize the kidney a little bit for the lateral tumors in laparoscopy because your view will be good, your suturing will be better. So up to the diaphragmatic region below the liver, we will mobilize and release are the the Ligaments. Now there was some bleeding at the hilum by a small twig of the suprahilar region between the uh, adrenal and the part of the part of the adrenal valve and cuts. It causes a lot of bleeding. So adrenal either has to be completely removed or go in between the adrenal and liver. If the adrenal bleeds, usually it doesn't stop except. Uh, if you coagulate and don't suck, it may stop. That was one problem we are seeing. But that is not the main thing we wanted to discuss in this case. Not the really ooze we wanted to discuss. This is the bleeding at the, uh, small bleeding at the, here. Small clip applied. Not much control. The artery was tortuous. Very tortuous artery was there. So we got clear control over the renal hilum, either mass clamping or individual. That was not a problem. Now the uh, main reason of sharing the video starts. See, we don't know where is the tumor. Here roll of uh, ultrasound comes. That was not available, unfortunately. Then uh, if you are cutting, uh, if you are cutting like this, See, you, you are seeing the toxic fat. You don't know the depth. It starts bleeding. You don't know the depth. You don't know the, the capsule. If you open the capsule, continuous wooge will come. See here, densely adherent fat capsule is not seen. Suction is used. Cartery is used. Uh, harmonic is used. Caesar is used. How, how depth we have to go, you don't know. The fat is coming a lot. Now I used uh, which instrument got maximum utilization. Here is the spatula where I was coagulating and then forcibly separating. Even then I am not able to see the 
capsule. The entire purpose of video is in CT if you observe the fat thickness is more than 2 cm. See the veins, how big veins in the fat. It is close to hilum in fact. We, we cannot really identify where the vein is going. Anywhere if it is open it will ooze. But the tumor is slightly on the hilar region on the most uh, inferior aspect that is the middle part of the kidney. Now still we are struggling whether this is tumor or not also we don't know. Still we are struggling to make space to reach the uh, to reach the capsule of the kidney. So continuously person is sucking and uh, nowhere plane between the means nowhere plane between the capsule of the kidney and the perirenal fat. Now we we thought we will go to other area. There also it is same. Thick fat. See can you can you imagine the thick fat? Insuperable fat. Now we did not have choice. We have to imaginarily take one angle after reading the CT again and again. Here we are doing the mass clamping. We did the mass clamping after removing the gauge piece. We have cut it. See the fat, how much fat is coming. We have to take chance here. One person is retracting. See the still fat is coming and is bleeding. Fat is not separable. The, the, this is where probably the parenchyma has come. So after cutting the parenchyma we realized and then we went uh, this is actually uh, 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 CT reading is very important if you don't have ultrasound that's why laparoscopic ultrasound or robotic ultrasound is very essential but when you don't have it you, you should know how to proceed also so with this toxic fat can you imagine the amount of the fat around the kidney you can see and judge uh, the fat. And then uh, sometimes see now you can appreciate the kidney very well. The complete deep up to the sinus fat has come. Okay, you, you can appreciate here the thickness of the fat nicely. You see separately you have to cut it like hilum. See the thickness of the fat. See this fat could not be separated yellow toxic fat. With my experience this is a very difficult fat I have seen and the surface is smooth. No problem. Can you imagine the the kidney center of the kidney in the fat how small the parenchyma to uh, suture. So this is what exactly we wanted to show. The rest of the surgery is uh, uh, same. I wanted to suture the inner medulla uh, continuously. In that case, some people coagulate like this. See such a large artery at the ILR reasons. This type of vessels may come. One should be very very careful in the mid part of the tumors. So that is clamped. Just it was going to the tumor. And now standard VLOC 2.0 is used. And slowly, uh, corticomedullary corticomedullary region and deep part is uh, sutured like this. The entire idea is that when the fat is very much, uh, ooze will be there, clear field will not be there. As I mentioned again and again, suction is very important. If you suck every drop, then only it is uh, good until the last level it is sutured and then the clip is applied and it is removed. Now coming to the outer rhinography see sometimes the needle where it is coming out in the fat was also not uh, easy.
forward bite is okay but reverse bite we struggled a little bit see the fat 1.52 cm thickness fat so ct itself was giving clue my one more small opinion in such cases is in any partial nephrectomy where difficulties anticipated like in a cad patient antiplatelet he, he was on low molecular weight heparin always take concern for nephrectomy especially large tumors hilar tumors no harm in taking for concern because you cannot uh, ask the patient after half done in this case at one point after a half an hour of fat uh, dissection we were thinking whether we will be able to get the proper margin and identify where the tumor in this case actually ct reading helped a lot if the ct is the three dimensional reconstruction with artificial intelligence in future will help in these cases where you, where you have to cut at what level from the hilum you have to cut it will help otherwise uh, routine ct you have to be really good in reading and implementing on the same the same thing on the this is a picture at the end and now see one vessel at the center was bleeding we have quickly clamped it was clear area at the center and then we have taken a trans here we have used 20 vicryl sometimes uh, 20 uh, vicryl has more better sliding property Uh, than VLOC. VLOC has resistance, uh, so sometimes it doesn't come well. So two zero vicryl is always a good suture for such uh, rescue uh, rescue stitches. Even people say two zero three zero PDS is also very good. Now we open and uh, uh, no bleeding seen, and carefully it is taken out. It is a mass clamping because of small bleeding. After that uh, bleeding controlled and. Uh, this patient had post operative a bit of tough time but otherwise see one small um, small vessel was there and that is clipped and now we kept in the bag and removed so to conclude identity uh, in uh, renal scores we do we see only the tumor and tumor location but i feel in morbidly obese when the bma is very high fat you have to keep in mind and that may trouble that is the reason why la long video it is shared to show each phase how it is difficult thank you